Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn a day photo into a night photo. Okay, so let's say you've gone out and taken a photo and uh, it's some, something similar to this and you want to turn it into a night photo just to see what it would look like. Uh, obviously, you could wait until it gets nighttime and then go back out there and take a photo. But in this particular uh, Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take this photo, turn it into night, make it as realistic as possible uh, and just some simple tips to do that with. And so we have our photo right here and the first thing we need to do uh, obviously in night images it's a little less saturated with the colors so we're gonna take the saturation down so I'm gonna make a saturation adjustment layer I'm gonna click over here and go down to hue saturation and I'm gonna take the saturation all the way down to roughly around in this particular image at least probably around 45 so you can see there's really hardly any reds popping out anymore. The greens are still there, but they're kind of muted uh, and everything like that looks uh, looks a little bland, which is what we're wanting. So I'm going to uh, hide that over there, and now I'm going to get a brightness layer. So again, I'm going to get a brightness adjustment layer. Click over here, do brightness and contrast. I'm going to take the brightness all the way down. So now it's very, very underexposed, and uh, it, it's starting to get to that night, that night feel. Uh, now that we got our saturated colors, so the next layer I'm going to apply is another hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm going to click right here, click hue saturation, but this time I'm actually going to do colorize. I'm going to click on the colorize box, and now I can change all my values over here, and they'll kind of blend in with a little bit of color. And so the values I'm going to put in for this particular image are going to be 209 for the hue. I'm going to do 47 for the saturation and do the lightness at 9. And now what I want to do with this one is just kind of scale it back a little bit. I want to drop the opacity down. I can even play with the blending modes if I wanted to. I can go to like an overlay blending mode and just see how that does. And then take the opacity down. Uh, but I'm going to go back to normal and just kind of bump the opacity down just to kind of make it a cooler image uh, but I still want to have a little bit of color showing through of the, of the original color showing through so I'm gonna go right around there so now it's looking a little more blue and uh, kind of on the darker side so now this is the part where we kind of get artistic with our image I need to paint in this street light because if it was night the street lights would be on so I want to make sure this light is painted so now I'm gonna get a blank layer I'm going to get a, a regular brush here. I'm going to make my brush uh, hardness all the way down to zero. Now I'm going to get a kind of a, a yellowy color, uh, kind of a golden, golden light, golden color here. So I'm going to go roughly, rough around here. Uh, you can see the value uh, for the hex value. It's F9EAA2. Uh, I'm going to click right there, and let's see how that one looks. So I'm going to scale my brush up pretty, a pretty good amount, and I'm going to click right here on top of that little light there so now it's kind of shining bright through I just need to decrease the opacity to make it a little less harsh so right around there and now one thing I did forget to do that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit with a white dot and so and I'm gonna create a brand new layer make it under the layer that we just did change your foreground color to white you can do that by pressing D and then X on the uh, control on the uh, keyboard. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more, and I'm going to click one more time on the light and make it white. Now I'm going to do the overlay blending mode. So you can see it kind of takes it to where it's glowing a little bit more. Now we can kind of play with both of these, see which one, which color we want to come and glow glow a little more. Do we want more yellow? Do we want more white in the image? Uh, I'm going to do roughly right there. So it's it's shining, but it's not overpowering. So now I'm going to make another layer, another blank layer, and this is where I'm going to uh, paint in uh, the, the color that I want to do. So I can go back to my colors here, again, get uh, sort of a yellowy color, uh, so roughly around there. And now this is the key part of, of painting in the reflection of the light or the, the spill of the light. Because you wouldn't just have a light here just shining. You would have the light on the wall, on the street, that sort of thing. So I'm going to get my, my opacity. I'm going to bump it down a, a good ways. Same with the flow. You can kind of play with it, whichever value you think was right. And now you just paint over the image just like this. And you can see it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of a little much, but that we can that we can take care of that in just a second. So I'm gonna 
end it right there, just kind of paint a little bit more. And now I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay and see what that does. And you can see it kind of tones it down a little bit more. Now we can paint a little bit more. And kind of what we're doing is, is making it more, more brighter, more yellow on the spot where it's closer to the wall. And then kind of fading it out as we uh, go down the wall and into the street. So roughly right there. And this might take a little bit of use to, uh, to trying to paint this in. Um, when I first was trying out this tutorial, uh, it took me a couple times to paint this in to figure out where I needed the light to go. So uh, it was uh, it's kind of trial and error, but you'll get used to it and see where the light would uh, kind of spill over to. So I'm going to keep it right there. And so now we have our image looking really close to being a night image. The only other couple things that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curves layer. And I'm going to create a curves layer just to make a, uh, a little bit of a contrast. So to do that, I'm going to take my point on the, uh, the darker end. I'm going to drag it down. You can just follow my point curve if you want to right there. And I'm going to make another dot right here just to brighten parts of it up. So what it's doing is it's darkening all the surrounding area around it and then uh, and this dot right here. But when I move this dot, it's brightening the light up, as you can see right there. So you're kind of making just a small S curve, which is basically a contrast. So there we go. I'm going to bump that down. And now I kind of like how that looks. The only thing I want to do a little bit uh, just to lessen the yellow here is I'm going to take the opacity down. I can even play with a soft light blending mode. Uh, I kind of like that a little better because that uh, the overlay is a little harsh. So let's change it to smart light and uh, bump the opacity down. So roughly around there. So that is our basic night image. We can go in and play with some of these uh, these contrast layers, these brightness layers, just to see what uh, what we like. If we want it more moody, we can take the contrast up a little bit more. And now you can see we got more of a moody, scary, uh, scary image here. So there's a lot to play with and a lot to fine tune. But that is basically how to turn a uh, day photo into a night photo. So let's take our adjustments. We're going to group our adjustments all together. So this was our before photo. Very, You can tell it was very bright outside. A uh, very, very nice day shot. And then we quickly turned it into a night photo. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to turn a day photo into night. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.